the winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left, at the end of the corridor. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. I thought he's dead, so what difference does it make? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. When did you sound the alarm? About eight o'clock. I began to get worried. I went all around the neighborhood. I went to the wasteland where they like to play. I went to see his friends. I called the cops about 10 o'clock. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? No. He said he must have run away and he'd probably end up coming back. His body was found five days later with an origami figure in his hand and an orchid on his chest. <laughs> Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. 
Now get out of here. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Baby, it's me. Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal, but I really wanted to see ya. <coughs> what do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Ugh. Again, asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. 